Hey guys, Killing Dead 6 here. It's been a, a massive eight years ever since Black Ops Zombies, well not Black Ops Zombies, but Zombies in general, has been around in the Call of Duty franchise. And I just watched a certain video from Mr. Dalek J JD and well, after watching it, I'm, I'm very upset. It's just, it's amazing how long Zombies has been around and after all this time, the storyline's over. For now. But now let's look at what happens now. At the Call of Duty Zombies franchise. We still have the custom zombie maps for World of War. Mm, basic, right? But yet, we still have the custom zombies coming soon for Black Ops 3. And mostly for Black Ops 1. But Black Ops 3 is still in development. Which means, we can make our own story. We can continue from what happened then. We can make a new zombie storyline, brand new characters, or maybe from Black Ops 2, or maybe some of those other characters from the second DLCs, like a Mob of the Dead, or, or Call of the Dead. You can make anything. As soon as those mod tools come out for Black Ops 3 Zombies, there will be tons of new maps for Black Ops Zombies. Maybe for multiplayer, I don't know, but it's going to be a very wild ride for what's going to happen next for Black Ops Zombies. It's just, it's very interesting. I haven't played the new map Revelations yet. It's still coming for Black Ops 3 on the PC and the Xbox One. But I play PC, so that's kind of a... Doesn't really matter, does it? It's very unsettling knowing that it's it's only going to be another two years or something like that. I don't know. Until something happens. I don't know if there will be a continuation for the zombie franchise, but we can always rely that the mod tools are positive, mod tools are there, we can get those mod tools when they're released, and we can make our own story, we can make our own maps, our own characters, our own everything, anything that we could possibly imagine. And like I said earlier, we can make our own storyline continuing from the last map in Black Ops 3 Zombies. It's just shocking, just knowing that anything could happen since now that Black Ops 3 has been now fully opened up to the whole committee, knowing that mod tools will be there. And I've already seen some test footage, and that's some good stuff. And when it's released, well, I, I'm not good with making stuff, but I'm sure definitely good at seeing what's there and what isn't. And the, the Call of Duty World of War zombie maps, the, the, the amount of maps that come out now is getting slower every month. Now, well, I know that they take some time, but they're not coming up as frequently as they used to. If you guys saw me play the um, Call of Duty Black Ops 1 zombie map um, 5 with the mod, that was some that was fantastic from the developer, and I know that's not going to be the last one we'll see of him. So, the next step for Black Ops Zombies, it's, it's shocking. I've seen the trailer, I've seen the ending, I'm very annoyed with the ending. Maybe Treyarch is waiting for the right moment. Maybe there's a good and bad ending to this, because, well... No? There was... There was a time in Black Ops 2, if you guys remember from playing it, that there you could choose between Richtofen or Maxis. Now, I'm pretty sure that Maxis was the good side, and Richtofen was the bad side. If I can remember correctly. But I don't know. But... What we see here is unbelievable, and what will happen is uncertain. As in, I'm not sure if Treyarch is going to continue the zombie storyline, it's going to make a new one, or it's going to start from scratch, I don't know. But all we can do now is hope for the best. Treyarch has been an amazing development team, and I respect for everything they did. I respect all of the games that they've made for Call of Duty. And I am very grateful for what they have done. Now, I am looking very forward to the next Call of Duty coming up, which is Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, is it right? Hang on. Call of Duty Infinite Warfare, Advanced Warfare completely stuffed me over. I've still got a Call of Duty weapon that cannot be unlocked until I play online at level 37, but no one plays anymore, so the only way to do it is XP supply drops, which I'm not paying for. But yeah, Infinite Warfare. I'm definitely going to be getting that game, and I've never played any of the, um, 
I've never played Modern Warfare, so Call of Duty 4, so that'll be a brand new thing for me, playing the remastered version. I've seen some gameplay, and I'm very interested to see what happens. It'd be nice to get back to the basics. And, well, you know, it's very, it's very mixed with the Call of Duty fanbase, and don't even get me started with the Call of Duty fanbase. I don't stick for any fanbase. Now, I'm not saying that the Call of Duty fanbase is a bad thing, alright? I'm just saying that all of it, I respect their opinions and all that, but I just don't care for them, okay? I just don't. I just only care about what the, each team comes up with with the Call of Duty game that they're assigned to and see what they come up with. Now, the zombie game, when I saw the zombie trailer, I thought, this is amazing, this is good stuff. I am willing to give anything a go with any type of game that I am very familiar with. There are any franchise I'm familiar with, and I love it. Any game they come up with, I'll give it a test run. And to this day, I still play Call of Duty Ghost on the Xbox 360. Yeah, you heard me. 360. Ghost. I still love it. But, everything else though, the Modern Warfare we've mastered. Now, very interesting, quite frankly. I've never actually played Modern Warfare. I've only played Modern Warfare 3, which I still love playing. I'm not sure what's going to happen with the game. I'm not sure if there's going to be any additional modes. I, don't, I do know that there is still the perk system, the guns and all that. I've never played it, so I'm still willing to give it a go. Infinite Warfare, I've seen the gameplay, and I am still going to go for it, whether, no one, whether people like it or not. I'm still going for it. And I, I'm still very grateful for all the teams that have actually assigned their gaming to Call of Duty, and I still love it. You know, I know I'm rambling, but this is the truth. I loved what they came up with Call of Duty. Advanced Warfare was meh. Everything else, though, I loved. I loved every single game they came up with. So I'm grateful for Treyarch, Infinity Ward, Raven, all of you great guys. I am very, very grateful. So, yes. Anyway, thank you guys. I respect you. Well, that's all I have to do, talk about for today. This is Killing Dead 6, and I'll see you guys later.